Welcome back to yet another video about animals. We just can't get enough of them as you can tell by our numerous catalog involving them. Some of them are great company to us humans, and some others have amazing traits that make our jaws drop. The animal kingdom is just full of surprises, but even though the world is full of fascinating creatures, there are some that we should probably keep at a distance. On that note, today we'll be looking at 10 animals you don't want to mess with. Some of these animals might punch you, bite you, or even kill you if you happen to come face to face with them at the wrong time. Make sure you stay with me to see the animal at the top of the list. Maybe you know about this one, but you might not know about all the danger it brings to us humans. Number 10. Kangaroos. What's the first animal that comes to your mind when you hear about Australia? Is it kangaroos? Because that's what comes to my mind as soon as someone mentions that country. Surely kangaroos are very representative of Australia. They are known for their pouches where they keep their little ones and also their ability to bounce long distances. There are four kinds of kangaroos, that being red, antilopine, eastern grey, and western grey. We humans love to watch these animals bounce and be happy in the wilderness, but even though they do seem harmless at first glance, we still gotta be very careful with them. They can grow as big as two meters tall, and they can use their legs and arms to throw some powerful punches, as well as kicks. So, make sure you don't mess with them unless you want them to try their boxing skills on you. And hopefully it's not you trying your boxing on them, because we should never punch animals. Because trust me, these guys know how to fight. And more than likely, they know how to fight better than you. Number 9. Polar Bears One of the largest land carnivores is only found in a specific part of the world, that being the polar bear. These animals live in the Arctic, and even though they're known for their white fur, their skin is actually black and their fur is transparent. But the effects of living in the icy lands makes them look this white. They are known for using ice as platforms when they go hunting for seals. Seals actually make up most of their diet. With all the meat they do eat, they can weigh as much as 680 kilos, and they spend most of their time at the sea. There are about 20,000 of them in the world, and even though they look cute, you might now already know that it's not an animal you want to mess with. After all, they're just not carnivores. They are hyper-carnivores, which means that the most of their diet is meat, so they will likely attack you if you come near their range. Now that the sea ice is melting, polar bears are coming in contact with more humans, which only increases the chances of having terrible encounters with them. Number 8. Leopard Seals Polar bears are not the only threatening animal in the cold lands. We also have the leopard seals. These are the third largest seals in the world, right behind the elephant seals and the walruses, and they are an important part of the Antarctic ecosystem. When you look at them, you might think their heads are a bit too big for their small bodies, but their thin bodies allow them to swim the oceans at speeds of 40 kilometers per hour. These are very lonely animals, and you usually will never spot them in large groups. The most you'll see is two or three of them together, but usually they hunt alone. The shape of their mouth makes it look as if they're smiling, but don't let that fool you. These animals can be very dangerous to humans. A few years ago, a marine biologist drowned after being dragged 60 meters deep by one of these seals. We don't know if the leopard seal was trying to kill him, but it is evident that they can cause severe damage to us. Number 7. Hippos. I'm sure you were expecting to see this big animal on this list. The hippo is one animal that you probably enjoyed watching during your last visit to the zoo, but it's one that you would never want to find in the wild. They spend most of their time in water, but they can travel for up to 10 kilometers on land just to feed themselves. And when it comes to humans, or pretty much any threatening animal, they can be very, very aggressive. Hippos are territorial. They might seem harmless and a bit ridiculous, but they can be very aggressive and fast. It is said that even a yawning or laughing hippo can be considered a threat. You wouldn't believe yawning or laughing to be considered a threat, however, much like the leopard seal's false smile, it is definitely a threat. People underestimate these beasts sometimes, thinking they're calm herbivores. However, they are meat eaters, and not just any meat eaters. There's proof that shows they go out of their territory to actively hunt. And in our case, it's not like they'll go out of the water just to hunt us humans, but they will definitely not hold back if you get in their way. So, some sage words of advice, stay out of their territory. Number 6. Platypuses Next on my list, I have a very unique animal, the platypus, the mammal that lays eggs. Also kind of famous for being a secret agent for the tri-state area. Among their rare features, we can point out that they don't have a stomach and they have a bill that gives them a sixth sense. They can hunt and detect other animals with their eyes, ears, and nose closed. 
Just the use of their bill will help them sense the electric fields from other living things. Also, just like any other mammal, they nurse their little ones. But in the case of the platypus instead of nipples, the nursing comes from gland ducts on their mom's abdomen. However, one of the facts about platypuses that make them a threat to us humans is the presence of venomous spurs on the male species. If you come in contact with this venom, your wound will get swollen, and you will experience a lot of pain for a couple of weeks. However, this venom will not kill you, and it's only released during mating season. But if I were you, I would still stay away from them. I know for sure that I wouldn't want their venom in me because it just sounds very painful. Number 5. Saltwater Crocodiles Do I even really need to explain this one? Here's an animal that you've probably seen in other lists and is a must for this one because there's really no reason for you to ever mess with a saltwater crocodile. Or any crocodile at all, really. While their name suggests that they are usually found in bodies of salt water, meaning the ocean, they usually prefer to make a home in estuaries and other bodies of fresh water. They are very common in Darwin, Australia, and you will know that by the lots of signs that warn you to watch out for them. These animals can be as big as 5 meters long, which is more than enough to eat a variety of large animals in their surroundings, and that includes humans. But don't worry about that too much. There have only been 24 deadly attacks reported in the lapse of 34 years. So, the chances of coming face to face with these creatures in a deadly encounter is quite unlikely. They are opportunistic predators. All you gotta do is stay away from their homes and you will be fine. Number 4. Poison Dart Frog And here's one you might remember as one of the deadliest animals of the Amazon River and also a returning contender from many of our lists, the Poison Dart Frog. It's a very amazing animal considering it brings colors that vary from anything between blue, red, green, and the bright golden one, which is also the most poisonous among all of them. It is said that the venom in the frog is enough to kill up to 10 humans. There are animals in the wild that attempt to eat these and they end up with terrible problems such as nausea, muscular paralysis, and of course, sometimes death. Even if you don't want to bite them, a simple touch can cause pain, cramps, and stiffness. Back in the 1800s, hunters in South America would use the poison from these frogs to hunt other animals. It was proven to be quite effective, so you definitely don't want to mess with a poison dart frog. After all, anything in nature with bright colors is usually a warning to stay away. Number 3. The Blue Ringed Octopus The next animal on this list is one that lives underwater, and it also has bright colors to warn you about its dangerous nature. On top of that, it's also a returning contender from several of our lists. That's right, it's the Blue Ringed Octopus. I must admit, this is hands down the most cool looking octopus I've heard about. Its skin is covered with little blue patterns that look like rings. But just because it looks cool, it doesn't mean you should come near it or mess with it at all. They are very venomous creatures. A single sting can cause your body to shut down and become paralyzed to the point that you will likely stop breathing. Given the fact that it is such a rare and dangerous creature, there is no anti-venom or fast cure for an attack by this animal but apparently some breathing and relaxation exercises can help you overcome the symptoms until the toxins from the octopus are removed from your bloodstream. Now, if you ever get attacked by a blue octopus, it's probably because you were messing with them. These animals are usually shy and will only attack when they feel threatened. So far, there have only been three cases of blue ringed octopus related deaths in Australia, which is the place where these creatures live. So don't worry too much. Just don't mess with this cool looking creature and maybe stay out of Australia. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Just what is this animal on the beach? While it seems harmless and probably dead in this photo, a sting by this blue bottle jellyfish can cause a lot of swelling and pain. You definitely won't want to mess with this one. If this sounds scary already, wait until you hear about the next animal on the list, which is also a jellyfish, but far, far more dangerous than the blue bottle. Number 2. The Box Jellyfish the box jellyfish is the most toxic animal in the world. Their venom is a threat to your skin, your nervous system, and ultimately to your heart. They usually live in the waters of Northern Australia, and they show up in between the months of October and May, which is summer in the Southern Hemisphere. This jellyfish is pale blue, which makes for a perfect camouflage in the deep waters of the ocean. A single sting can cause pain, but multiple stings could kill you. However, people around these beaches have been trained to offer first aid to any unlucky swimmers that get in the way of these toxic creatures. And their medical techniques don't involve any peeing, by the way. Even though I know some of you believe that pee is helpful in these situations, first responders prefer to use vinegar and other substances that have been proven to be more effective and much less... gross. So go have fun in the ocean, 
but don't mess with this creature if you ever see one. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Mosquitoes. Never underestimate the power of a small animal. The mosquito, an animal that can be as small as 3 millimeters, is responsible for a crazy amount of deaths every year. There are about 3,000 different kinds of mosquitoes around the world, and many of them carry diseases, kind of like chikungunya, encephalitis, elephantiasis, yellow fever, zika virus, and the most known of them all, the dengue fever. About 700 million people get bitten by these animals every year and around 750,000 die every year from the disease that they carry. According to the World Health Organization, more than half of the human population are at risk from these diseases that come from mosquitoes. So if you live or visit an area with tons of mosquitoes, make sure you use some insect repellent. Otherwise, the mosquitoes will likely mess with you. Those are all the animals I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed learning about them, and I really hope you stay safe. Have you had any encounters with any of these animals? Or perhaps you had a dangerous encounter with another animal that's not on this list? Well, let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.